Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to put text inside the shape in Microsoft Word, like in this example where I have text inside the heart shape, but you can really put the text inside any kind of shape in Microsoft Word. So let's get started. I will start in a blank new document, and you may have noticed that if you create a new shape like insert shape rectangle, as you start typing, you will type a text inside this shape. So let me just paste some random text in there and change the justification to be justified. And you can see that now the text is filling out the sheet nicely. So you may be thinking, well, if I create a different kind of shape, the text should be there in there as well, right? So let me try this. I will delete this shape and create a new shape. So insert shape. And in this case, I will create our heart shape, draw it with the shift key pressed like so and start typing. And indeed, there is a task, some text inside the shape. So again, if I paste my random text, it's inside the shape, but you can see it's not quite filling the shape. It's still only like in this kind of rectangular shape. It's not filling all those empty spots and all, you know, all the gaps. It's not the way how to do it. We have to find a different way how to do it. So let me just get rid of this shape. And if you haven't seen my previous tutorial about text dropping, which is this one, you should definitely watch it because it has some cool tips and tricks which we will use today as well. So the way how we do it is we first paste the text. Then I will just select everything and turn off the spelling and grammar, like do not check spelling and grammar, and change justification to be full justified. Then I will insert a shape being this heart symbol. So insert shapes heart, draw it like so, and I'll right click and select wrap text, and I will select through. So what this is trying to do is it's just trying to push the text outside of the shape. So imagine that our shape is like inverse shape. So if you, if the, our shape would be like inverse heart, then it will try to push the text inside the heart, which is exactly what we want. Now you may have noticed there is a gap on the top and that's because by default, the text wrapping is not very precise. So we can just adjust this text wrapping in a way that we right click, select text wrap, select edit wrap points. And then this red line is telling word how the, how the lines should be wrapped. So I'll left click with my mouse and move this down like so, create a new control point and maybe one more here and one more here. And now there is the text inside this gap as we want to. Now, how do we want to create this inverse heart shape, a few different ways how to do it. I prefer to use Microsoft PowerPoint because it has a nifty feature called Merge Shapes, which is unfortunately not present inside Microsoft Word. So I will get rid of this shape and quickly jump into PowerPoint like so. And in the PowerPoint, I'll draw the shape, same shape. So insert shapes, heart symbol, and I'll draw it like this with my shift key pressed. But now I will draw another shape, which will be a rectangle. So draw a rectangle from here only covering the left part of the heart shape and just going like outside of the shape a little bit like so then i will click the heart uh, sorry the rectangle shape first shift key on my keyboard press it click the heart shape and in the merge shapes select subtract so this will subtract the heart from the rectangular shape now we have an inverse shape of the of the heart so we can just copy this in the clipboard ctrl c jump back to microsoft word and ctrl v to paste it we can right click and select wrap text through and you can see that immediately we have the result of the text being placed inside the shape. Again, we have the same problem of not filling the top part of the shape. So right click, select wrap text, edit wrap points and add few more control points by left clicking and dragging the control point around just so it follows the shape a little bit nicely like so. And we have another problem of this shape not trying to go outside of the text. So we have to right click, select more layout options and unclick or uncheck this move object with text checkbox. Click OK and now we can freely move the text around the page. Now let me let me scale this a little bit up by again holding the shift key and dragging one of those resize handles like so. Move it to the left side copy paste it, jump to the shape format and select rotate flip horizontally and then just move it to the right side. And now we can see you have a nice looking text being inside the heart shape. I can use the arrow keys on my keyboard to move those shapes properly, but I think that the snapping should be enabled so it should snap to the left side. Obviously we don't want to see the shapes itself. So I will select both of them by clicking the shift key on my keyboard and selecting both like so move it to the right spot and then just go to the shape format set the shape fill to be no fill and outline to be no outline and now we only have the text in our page being placed inside the heart symbol obviously if you select everything and make this text a little bit smaller like seven points or so you will see more of the shape if you have a bigger text you will see less of the shape because you know uh, you know it's no way how to fill the text inside the shape. So something in between like maybe 12 points should be fine in our case. I think I was using uh, Constantia font 
in this case being the bold and italic but this is really up to you the last thing compared to my previous document is i have this background image which is from the pexels website so let me show you how to do this i will open the pexels website which is this image right click and select copy image into my clipboard jump back to microsoft word and just paste it you know paste like so or Control v on my keyboard which will paste the image like so I will zoom out so you can see it. Right click this and select wrap text behind the text. So this should be behind the text and it should be also much bigger because this, this area in here is very small. So I'll just make it much, much bigger so we can fit in our text, maybe make it even bigger like so. That's, that's probably way too much, but we will see. Okay, maybe not that much. Just a tiny bit bigger. It's a little bit slower because the image now is now very huge, but you get the point okay so if you don't want to see the bottom text in here we can do the similar thing we can insert an r shape big rectangle and just draw it on the bottom of the page right click and select wrap text and you can really set anything like maybe square is fine in this case no fill and no outline so now this rectangle is just pushing the text outside of this front page you can see it if I just move the rectangle on top, it's also pushing this text, but that's not what we, what we want in this case. So I'll just move it to the bottom of the page. So everything that doesn't fit into this heart symbol or heart shape will go into the second page. Now you can see that the shape of the background image is just slightly different from our original shape. So if you want, I can select or I can select those shapes going to the selection pane or home select selection pane, which is the same comment. Select the freeform shape, right click, select align oh sorry wrap text and edit wrap points and i can just you know slightly tweak those wrap points to be similar than uh, you know to the background image like so and i can do the same thing for the right shape so right click wrap text edit wrap points and this just looks a little bit nicer because it fills the shape better but that's it that's really how you put the text inside the shape by having the shape which is in inverse form and pushing the text you know outwards and you can use this technique for any kind of shape even more intricate shapes if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. Otherwise, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.